What is up, YouTube? We are coming to you live from the truck because we have got some stuff to do today. Don't think you can see back there other than my nasty all. There it is. The Zephyr, aka Four Loco, aka Mr. Rogers, is on the truck. We are taking it to my buddy Chris. He welds. I really am not confident enough in my welding abilities to uh, to weld, but we've got some framework to repair. Uh, we've I'm waiting on a cage. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff that we've got to get done, and so I'm gonna take it on down to him. So uh, he's he's a lot more fabrication oriented than I am. So definitely looking forward to it. It has been beautiful all week. We should be at Katy Dragway in Ohio for Midnight Madness, but the rain got us. It's been you know, all week gorgeous, and then it decides to just get disgusting on Saturday, um, and I think they missed the weather call on Friday night, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to keep on doing race car stuff, keep chugging away. If this is your first time to the channel or if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, the Zephyr back there is a 1979 four-door Mercury Zephyr. It will have a turbo small block Ford in it and we are crunching down. I haven't talked to you guys a lot about it, but the parts have been rolling in for the Zephyr because I am doing my best. I have been invited to a race uh, in the Midwest and I want I want the Zephyr there. That's where I, that that is the car that I want. I don't want to take Whitey. Whitey is locked in, but if I can swap it out for the Zephyr, that is what I'm going to do. That is what I am pushing for. And you know, we're two months away, and the car is a roller sitting back there on the trailer. So it it's there's a lot to be done in a short amount of time, but. Uh, like I was saying, new to the channel, also have Whitey 2014 white twin turbo Mustang. Uh, it is currently has the transmission out of it, but it is fixed. Well, it wasn't really bad to start with, but we went through it because we had some terrible noise going on and pretty sure it was just a filter and needed a filter and fluid change. So. Yeah, there's that car. Um, we race that car a lot. It's gonna get raced even more. Um, what I'm trying to do is keep that car for channel-oriented stuff or do some, some stuff for it. And that car back there is gonna be the race pig. That thing's gonna be, we're gonna beat on it like it owes us money. That's the plan. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. I've got a ton of stuff. I've just got a lot. There's still a lot more money that has to go out. Um, tra well, tra yeah, transmission. Uh, I've almost got it paid for. I get. Uh, I've almost got all the money for it. The we think your converter, drive shaft. Um, what else? There's a bunch of little stuff that I'm not even going to get into, but. Uh, hot side is is here. I'm just waiting on head gaskets for me to start putting the short block long block together um, Still need a balancer. There's all kinds of little doohickey stuff that that I need but uh, wiring brake lines and Yeah wiring brake lines Per, uh, converter and trans are the big the big items that still need to come so there's there's still a lot I've got two months uh, which is you know today is June the 11th um, you'll probably see that this you know a little a little after obviously it takes me a little while to get things edited without crazy work my work schedule has been but we got two months, so around July 11th to the 14th is when I want to be done. Good Lord, that voice crack. <clears throat> That's when I want to be done and testing, and we will see. So it is going to be a blow-through car, car, E85, because we have race gas at our, or it's not race gas, but we have the good gas at our pump gas here with our sheets. And so I don't want to pay eight, nine, ten dollars for race gas when I can just use some E85. So today's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to get 
as much documented as I can. Um, uh, internet is out at my house, so I can't upload. So let's, uh, yeah, we're going to head down to, to Virginia. We're up in West Virginia here. And we're going to head down to Virginia and get this car lo unloaded and probably work on it a little bit today. So, should see Jimmy, Levi, actually picking up Levi now. So, all right, let's get into it. Everything's set up on We got all the torque support on, on that it'll probably never need. Cart. Rewards card. You think it'll ever need the? You think it'll ever actually need the battle box? What is it? Ports? No. At Thank you, Chris. That 300 M on six don't make much power. All right, guys, this is the next day, so we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, we got a lot done on the Zephyr yesterday. Here's my buddy, Kashi. It's Mother's Day. We're getting ready to go back to church. And uh, I didn't wrap up yesterday's video. Uh, it got late. We got a ton done, though. We got the frame repaired. It is completely repaired and good. Uh, we got a good mindset around what we need to do with subframe connectors. And then we've got... Um, the torque box reinforcements, we got those done, and actually Chris welded those in today, but we bolted them in yesterday, so they're going to be bolted and welded in. Got a ton done, but uh, it, you know, big shout out to Chris. Hey, Dad, um, give me a cookie. <gasps> Mommy said no, no sugar cookies right before church. But anyways, I'm going to, oh boy, you going to get mad? I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Um, battery's dying on the on the camera because I keep forgetting to charge the battery, which is also nice. But uh, anyways, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I've got a lot of stuff coming for the the Zephyr. I keep wanting to call it a Fairmont, which it pretty much is. But we've got a ton. I've got a ton of parts that have came in, and just waiting on head gaskets to do quite a bit of stuff and get it mocked up and then it's going to get legit I've, the engine is going to go in the car waiting on a uh, the cage from s and w race cars and then the cage will go in so the, the car is getting ready to shape up really really quick and it's going to be just an absolute 
beast. I'm just so, so, so looking forward to it. I've got right around two mo a two month deadline to build it is what I'm trying to do to make a certain race. So that's about it. Stay tuned for the next video is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do even more stuff uh, building the Zephyr and hopefully we get to do some some turbo stuff. That's what I'm looking forward to. Got an on three performance hot side kit and gonna make it work with our Borg Warner T6 turbo. So that could be interesting. So that's about it. Peace.